Hello, Chantalia. Welcome back to Furniture Flipping Rush. Today we're going to transform this half moon entrance table I found it for Facebook Marketplace for $533. The plan is to keep the top a natural wood, paint the base and the legs, and the hope is that I'll end up with a lighter top. So let's do this. Okay, so it's a bit wobbly and this is why. It is so important to give your piece a good clean. You don't want your paint to stick to the dirt, you want it to stick to the wood. When I see the brown color on the cloth and in the water, I know I'm gonna have to prime. This is caused by the tannins of the previous wood stain. Using clean water, make sure to remove any soap that might still be on it. I'm using stripper to remove the varnish so I don't have to sand it and risk breathing it in. Now this looks gross, right? I'm just going over the stubborn bits again. And with the help of steel wool, I remove the varnish from the detail. I use warm soapy water to remove the loss of the residue. I remove the top for sanding. And use an 80 grit working up to a 240 grit. Because the top had some dents in it, I applied a bit of pressure to make sure I evened it out. Because I want the natural wood to show on the lip of the bottom, I sand it as well, focusing more on the outside area that will be seen.
I'm securing the legs to get rid of the wobble. Applying a generous amount of wood filler because when it dries, it tends to do this. I use a wet cloth to wipe down the excess dried filler because I did not want to kick up dust from sanding it. It actually works faster than sanding it down. I'm filing down the screw's head that's sticking out a bit so that it's all nice and even. And reapplying wood filler to close the little holes. I start waxing the bottom of the top, then moving on to the top. I completed two coats on both sides and buffed it with an old t-shirt. I'm really happy with how the top came out. I scuff sand the legs and the body to prepare for the primer. While you're watching me slave away, I would love to know from other flippers if you also experience difficulty getting furniture pieces at the moment. Is it the time of year? And do you also notice sales slowing down? I think it's because people are still recovering from Christmas spendings. I would love to hear your experience. With the damp cloth, I remove the remaining dust before I prime. I'm using Zinza's 123 primer here. As I've mentioned before, it's my favorite primer to use. For those of you who don't know, here is an example of bleed through. After my first layer of primer, you can see a yellowy color that seeps into the paint. I completed two layers of primer. I'm using Annie Sloan's Chateau Grey, which is more like a lovely warm sage color. I completed three layers of paint and used Annie Sloan's clear wax to seal it. Okay, so now you're wondering why is she using a hairdryer? Well, it's easier to wipe down the excess wax and smoothing out these wax granules. I just add a little bit of heat for a short period. Now for some dark wax to add a little bit of detail. I use a combination of brushes, my fingers and a paper towel to blend it the way I want it. Now let's put the top back. And look at what we started with before I blow your mind. Thank 
you so much for all the love and the new subscribers. It means the world to me. If you got any value out of this video, please like it. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye. Today we're going to transform this moon or moon half style flipping entrance, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Hello, is this light on you? Natalia, welcome back to when there's a mos mosquito or something. Anyway, hello, Chantal here. Welcome back to furniture for. Mm. Hello, Chantal here. Well The plan is to paint, no. and the hope is to end up with a lighter top. Let's get going. So let's do this. <laughs> uh, okay. Today we're going to transfer this half moon. Today we're going to transform.